as an E60 M5 with the V10 engine, the S85 with 85,000 miles, no noises or any problems, just in uh, preventative maintenance, Comrod bearing shell replacements because we found copper particles in the oil filter during oil service. And we're on cylinder four now. And we can see that on the shell, this is looking at the crankshaft journal, which has got some slight damage, which is uh, which you can feel. Uh, and that's apparent on the shell as well, which has gone through the copper and it looks like something's been caught under the shell and scored the journal. Here's our old table just showing the old shells. Ignore the dirt on the table, this is just for old shells. Uh, new shells get prepped in a clean environment. And this is showing the um, cylinder number four. On the left is the uh, lower cap. Uh, bearing shell and on the right here is the the one that would be in the con rod on the upper side and we can see that it's got a copper wear patch directly in line with the um, score mark on the crankshaft journal it's not the worst copper uh, patch we've seen but um, but it is the only one we've seen where there appears to uh, they've gone through the copper because uh, there's a different colored metal behind the copper and you can see whatever is dislodged from that area has been dragged around because there's a there's a clear scratch mark rotational mark which is apparent on the crankshaft journal and then that's not directly in line with it but there's another mark there which is a rotational drag mark quick update on the v10 shells we're just up to number nine now we're just taking the cap off which didn't come off very easy had to be uh, helped off should we say and we can obviously clearly see why that lower bearing uh, hasn't spun yet but was very close to it's actually contracted as you can now see it's not touching the um, comrod cap on either side and uh, obviously a huge amount of breakup layers there it's not actual material broken yet but sort of when you zoom in you can see sometimes like a scaly sort of skin look to the shell so it's not failed yet, but this is uh, a perfect save, which uh, I'm sure the customer would be happy with that we found them like this before a failure was to happen. Um, I'm going to take the rod side off now and see what that one looks like, but this one's definitely contracted because it now doesn't fit at all. As you know, if you've ever fit these before, these snap into place, but this doesn't. There's a huge amount of, um, of gap either side. So just taking the, the upper shell off, which is in the rod on cylinder number nine. That's the one on the left here, over here. And uh, we've lined up next to a new one, fairly in line. And you can see the contraction that that shell has had due to the heat build up, which is why it doesn't fit in the, uh, in the cap very well at all. And was effectively um, tightened itself and was stuck on the journal. So the colouring show the, uh, the the layers of material that are, are being worn away. And um, this is about 80,000, 85,000 miles on a 2005. So it is an earlier one, which had the original shells in it. And there's no knocking noise or anything. This is just a, a routine oil change a few months ago that we found copper particles in the filter and in the filter housing. And, um, and then obviously turned out to be Comrade bearing shells on investigation today. So for clarification, these are the 288 and 289 bearings from an April 2005 car. And you can see the tab here, which is the locating tab, which holds it in the rod and the cap, which appears to be sort of smoother where it's been pressured to nearly spin, but it hasn't, it hasn't come out of this locator, it's just had some stress, shall we say.